Hello Bruins! This video is part of Morris Library's Source Evaluation Series, where we discuss different types of sources and how you can make sure you're meeting requirements set by your instructor. Today we'll cover a group of terms that mean similar things. These are scholarly, academic, and professional sources. We'll also touch on peer-reviewed sources. All of these source types go a step beyond the credible or trustworthy sources discussed in our previous video in terms of the reliability of the information. Scholarly and academic sources are two ways of saying the same thing. These sources are made by and for experts in a given field or students studying to become experts. They will be published either in a peer-reviewed journal or by a university press. To get work published in a peer-reviewed journal, there is a rigorous vetting process in which other experts in the subject area, the peers of the author, review the study to make sure it meets a slew of ethical, academic, and compositional requirements. Suffice it to say, it's tough to get published in one of these journals, so all the information you see there is more likely to be reliable. Books published by a university press go through a similar vetting process, so again, the information here is more likely to be highly trustworthy. If your instructor is requiring you to use scholarly or academic sources, they probably want to make sure you're using reliable information and also get you used to reading this type of material, which can be pretty dense and hard to get through at first, but which you'll be doing a lot more of if you continue to a four-year institution or beyond. If you're new to reading scholarly sources, it's recommended not to read the whole article through in order. Instead, start with the abstract, or a summary of the findings of the study and what was covered. This will give you a pretty good idea of whether a source will fit your topic. If it passes the test, then skip all the way through to the conclusion, which usually has a lengthier summary of the findings and will again help you determine if a source is a good match for your assignment. Then you can go ahead and read through the rest of the article, more confident that you aren't wasting your time. There's an easy way to find scholarly sources built into most of our databases. Look for a checkbox in the search filters section that says something like academic, scholarly, or peer-reviewed. This will filter for only peer-reviewed journals, so it will exclude books published by University Press, but it can be a quick way to find what you need. Your instructor might also ask for a professional source. Depending on the instructor, this might mean the same thing as scholarly or academic sources, but technically, professional sources can also include things like trade publications or articles published by notable organizations in a field that wouldn't necessarily check all the boxes for a scholarly source. For example, in my own area, if I were to reference information shared by the American Library Association, which is a group for professional librarians to discuss our work, that wouldn't necessarily be scholarly information, but it would be a trustworthy professional source. If you're confused about what your instructor means on this one, I recommend checking in with them and asking if information shared by a professional organization would meet the requirement. This will usually help you determine if they're using professional as a synonym for scholarly or if they'll accept that slightly broader range of professional sources. If you have any questions about scholarly, academic, or professional sources, please ask your librarians. 